Hey guys, Agnard here. Hope you and your family are doing well. Just, uh, if you have problems with sand burrs, I'm going to go into detail, uh, with the, the chemicals I use to, uh, to, to fight, to combat that. And, uh, so here we go. So I did a sand burr video a few years back and, uh, I got a lot of comments. I did not list what chemicals I use, but I got a lot of a lot of feedback with why why did you do the video if you didn't tell me the chemicals you use and i really didn't want to push uh or market for anyone um another company so that's kind of why i've stayed away from it but since there's such an interest i'm gonna learn this new affiliate marketing it's new to me it's been around but i'm gonna put a link to the products that i use in amazon and so uh, we'll have the links down below in the comments or wherever they go. That, Like I said, this is new to me. Um, and we'll put them in there. So, uh, you know, sand burrs are a pain. Nobody likes them. They come along in mid-August, late summer, is when you really start seeing the effects of them. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of, the, kind of the deal. So let's start with soil health first. You know, soil health is the most important piece. Good pH, good fertilizer program. Of course, you grow hay. Hay coming out of your fields uh, depletes the nutrients. Nitrogen is, once again, this isn't a soil science deal. But keeping good soil health is going to help prevent the sand burrs. So that's first and utmost. Secondly, uh, you know, starting with a pre-emergent program now what is pre-emergent pre-emergent is something that you apply in february april uh you really need to do two applications one in february uh, mid to late february and then another in uh first of april and it's going to go in and it's going to get the seed head and it's going to um uh, make, make it unusable and so you want to spray that preferably for a rain it disperses it real nice do that again a second time, and it's going to really start eliminate the seeds that were just dropped uh, from the previous season. Now, seeds that have been there or grasses that are dormant, uh, it won't touch that. So that will then, uh, and for the pre-emergent, we use satellite. Let me just emphasize that. We use satellite. Uh, once again, there'll be a link down below. And then for our post-emergent, which we typically don't put out until July, um, is uh, MSMA. There are some restrictions to all of these different things. Uh, make sure you follow the guidelines. Uh, if it says to mix it a certain way, mix it a certain way. If it says to apply it so much per acre, apply it so much to an acre. If it says to rinse your containers three times before you throw them away, then rinse them three times before you throw them away. Um, just just be smart. Don't be don't be a rebel. Don't be um, you know don't fight the system. This is just taking care of our land. So anyhow, so. Typically, first cutting the hay, if we have a, a meadow that has sand burrs, they're not, the, the grass might be there, but there's no sticker burrs. So we typically won't put a post-emergent out until July, um, uh, first to mid of July, and then again in, in August. MSMA works really good. It will zap it. Now, I grow coastal Bermuda. It does not kill the coastal Bermuda, but it will stunt it. So... Know that going in, uh, you know, there are some restrictions that uh, once you spray it, you know, I don't think it's good for horses to eat that, um, you know, if you harvest it, if you bale it, uh, I don't think it's good for horses to, to be able to be fed off of that hay meta for one year. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't read the container lately, but make sure whatever you put out that you're following all the warning signs. And if you do all those three things, maintain a good, healthy soil, um, put out pre-emergent, put out post-emergent, it'll go away. Is it something that's going to happen immediately? No. Is it something that you'll have to, to do for two or three years in a row? Uh, yes. After you get that done, after two or three seasons, you'll be able to lay out for a couple of three seasons and you'll have to pick it back up. Um, just watch it. So anyway, I hope this helps you. I hope you find this useful. Uh, God bless you and your family. Shoot me a comment below, subscribe, um, give me a like, Agnard out.